Tapos. All right, all right. Um, <clears throat> today, I'm gonna talk about this is video I saw on the net. Actually, it was on YouTube or something. This video that's going around now. I guess it's like um, from a world star or something. I don't know. But it's a video. When I, when I talk about, remember I mentioned about street fighting, about knowing the ground game and what to do on the ground. You know, and street fighting is different than combat fighting, than a combat sport fighting. So this is an example I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna tag the link at the bottom so you can check out the video. All right. Um, it's basically videos about African American get ass kicked by a trucker. All right. So basically, <clears throat> I guess you have this one guy. I guess you can say African American, and he's from New York or something like that. So I guess um, he's getting into a fight with two guys, two, I guess, you know, Caucasian looking guys, you know, big stocky guys too. I think between the two guys, I could say between the two of them is like 350 pounds, between the two of them, or even could be all 400, actually it could be like 400 and something, maybe like 420 between two guys. So basically you have this one guy who's from New York, you know, a New York son, he's supposed to be a badass because he's from New York. So he's probably look like him, him probably weigh like, i say like 150, so you know. So you got this one guy, one guy from New York, he thought that the guys wanted to jump him, you know, but that wasn't the guy's intention, the two guys intention wasn't to jump him but then he's like running off his mouth you know like I'm from New York son I'm gonna bust these guys up you know you know all this crap he's like talking about that shit so basically the two guys kind of walked away you know and then he kept on pushing the situation keep on pushing the fight pushing the fight to happen this one guy now want to take on who is 140 pounds or so I take on two guys who are like 400 and something together like you know weighing together so then he went over you know around off his motor a little bit you know I'm from New York I'm out here in New York so then he rushed he 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 actually walked over to the guy to one of the guys and then said yo what's up you know what's up you want to do something now so then the guy never really threw the first punch um, the Caucasian guy never threw the first punch the guy from New York the African American kind of like just went in and just kind of swing while like out of control swinging with no control you can tell that he doesn't know how to fight he had no boxing skills nothing he just threw his hands out there and when he threw his hand the punches weren't follow up with anything so just wild punches which leave his whole body open for a takedown so obviously being the Caucasian guy being a bigger person more stockier guy obviously with a small guy like that he's gonna go for he's gonna try to grapple him so that's what happened the guy swing wild with some you know awkward looking punches he got bear hug and he got tossed on the ground no, the guy from New York, New York son, he had on a sweater. Now, one thing you know about in street fight, whenever you're fighting street fight, you want to make sure that if you have any sweater or any hoodie or nothing like that, you want to take that off. If you're going to get into a fight, you want to take those things off if you can. Because those things can be used as a weapon and it can use to control you and spin you around and tie you up in your own clothes while you're getting beat on. So that's exactly what happened. He had a sweater on, and he went over there. You're from New York, so you I'm gonna, you know, boss you up, man. He went over there, got tossed on the ground. His hand got caught up in his own sweater. The guy used his own sweater, pulled it over his his, his, his head, and got his hand tangled up in it. So then he wasn't able to use his hand. Got flipped over. Then he got mounted. 
the, the guy turn his the um, the New York guy turn his face to the concrete, giving the guy his back. So the guy that's maybe like 200 and something pounds, 220, 240 pounds probably, 240 pounds or so, started wailing on his back of his head, just punching his head, punching his head, punching his head, punch him until he got knocked out, and, and until he was out, he was dazed. He was completely, actually he was out, and then some some couple of bystanders say, yo man, stop man, he's, you know, the um, thing, he had enough already, he lives, you know, you can leave, you can leave, leave him alone now, he had enough, you know, stop, stop, stop. So the guy got off, just left him there, all stunned. He was like leaning up on the ground doing yoga poses, you know, like in day's motion, doing yoga poses, like, you know, stunned. He's like, he's dazed, just sit there, you know, there's nobody going to help him, you know. That's an example where I'm talking about, you know, certain situations you don't want to put yourself in in a real life fight why would you want to one man why would why would you want to go and start a fight with two with two other guys that are triple time your weight it doesn't make any sense i mean luckily there was no weapon involved and luckily when when the guy was fighting and the guy had him on the ground Luckily, the other guy didn't jump in too and start stepping on his head because then he'll be dead. I mean, that would, that would be the end of him. Or luckily, the guy didn't have a knife while he was hitting him in his head. Just take a knife out and stab him and kill him on the spot. So you have to be, you have to think smart in certain situations, man. You know, you, you, you have to humble yourself sometime, you know. When you see certain things, it's good to just, no, no matter what the situation was, if the two guys said said something to him, you know, but he, but then the guy from New York was the one pushing the fight. So you know, there's something you gotta humble yourself in certain situations, man. You know, you 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 can't run off your mouth and you know you're all from New York, son. And this being from New York does not make you tough. Being from New York doesn't make you a fighter. You know, being from Jamaica don't make you a fighter. Being from Europe, wherever in the world, doesn't make you a fighter. Fighter comes from your heart your training how much time you put into your training you know how much time do you work out do you train you know basically the training you put in you know all this could have been avoided if you just humble himself you know just uh, you know just uh, and just and just go his way but you want to be a tough ass you want to be uh, you know mr guy from new york said so he almost died you know, he was getting like almost 20, 30 punches to the back of the head and, until he was dazed and doing yoga poses. <laughs> so, also in situations like this too, you know, even he was being, the New York guy was a smaller guy. You know, this is where I say it's good to, you know, to um, practice different martial arts. You know, get yourself you know like familiarize with different fighting aspects so you know even you know if you did end up on the ground like that you would I know you know how to rotate his body around shift his body weight around how to use his body in a way where you know he can like kind of like roll off the guy and like you know get back to a guard position and you know kind of keep his own but then but instead he just was like a <laughs> it was like official order just like flopping all over the place they didn't know what to do you know all up on the concrete you know just his, his sweater got tangled up and then he couldn't move his hands you know he, he didn't know what to do he was afraid he was in, I think at one time he was screaming you know he didn't know what to do you know you, you gotta practice you gotta train different aspects of martial arts for real life situations like this in a mental way there must be something wrong with him because you don't go around you know gonna pick fight with you know just randomly want, want to take on two guys triple your weight you know you have no weapon on you you have nothing you're just by yourself and you know you know you you know you're just stupid you're just setting yourself up for ass whooping so exactly what happened so it's always good 
to you know train different aspects of martial arts you know practice the ground game you know if this guy had a little ground game or even a good ground game for say you know maybe he wouldn't end up on the ground either you know he could have probably defend a little bit you know i mean the guy is a little bigger than him still but he could have you know done a little better than just flopping around like a fish out of water stomach on the ground face down on concrete man the guy could have died man if he doesn't get brain damage it look like he could have got brain damage but man that could have been death right there for him man i mean the, the, the guy could have just jumped up in here and just stepped on his skull and just cracked it open you know he's got, he's got to be smarter than that man he got to be smarter than that man you know he's you gotta know to humble yourself sometime man you know just humble just, just humble yourself man you know, not, not, it's, not about, it's not about bad man this and um, bad man and me, you know, me boss up man face and bad man. Bad man thing don't fly. Because if you don't know how to defend yourself, and if you don't have something on you, you might as well be a dead man. You know, you, you can talk a big game, yo, bad man, New York, son, I'm gonna bust you up, son, you know, yo, man, you know, homeboy, bust you up, man, yeah, you can bust somebody up if you don't know how to, how to throw down, and you, you don't practice, you don't train nothing, and, 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 you, and you're going up towards two, two guys who don't even know what they know, you don't even know, man, what these guys know, the guy look like he wrestles, the guy probably does wrestle, he look like he's a wrestler, I mean, you, 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 you can't judge people by because the guy is caucasian or he looks like a hillbilly or truck driver it doesn't matter man when it comes down to the real deal it doesn't matter what skin complexion you're on no matter where you're from no matter what you look like no matter as if you can throw down if you're trained if you're really trained you train hard for specific fighting combat you know for street fighting you know how to throw your hands, throw your legs, you know, you know how to move around, you know how to defend. Or you have your piece on you, or your gun, or you have a knife, or ice pick, or something on you. You have to be smart, man. Bad mountain, nowadays, don't fly. Bad mountain, don't fly. It's all about being humble, being quiet, and watch your surroundings around you. A real bad man is a man that don't talk, a man don't say a word, just lay back in the cut. Just watch, just say, all right, uh, go on, man, you're cool, yeah, man, yeah, man, you're cool, man, you know, that's the real bad man there, because you don't know what that man thinking, the man say, yeah, man, you're cool, man, yeah, man, you don't know what he's thinking, you probably say, man, how come this guy is like so humble, you don't know what him thinking, that's the real bad man, the man who run off him out all the time, like, yo, man, New York, son, you on badass, kick your ass, man, the man who talks some talk talk so much and and, and 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 chat up here rubbish. Those are the guys that got they get ass kicked all day long. Bad man don't talk. Bad man don't say a word. Bad man just chill back, just calm and relax. That's your true bad man. You don't know what that person have up them sleeve. You don't know what that person thinking. So you did a run off your mouth. Man just stay there on the court. Yeah man, go on, go on, go on, go on, talk man, talk it in man then get done so as i was saying humble yourself and know your situation you're in you know look around your surroundings think before you jump into something look at the situation look at the surroundings and look at what you're getting yourself into and realistically think is it that if this is a wise decision to go and do and you also have to know yourself too that I'm jumping into this now to go and fight two men am I capable of even beating one man up who is like 250 you know you have to be smart man alright so I'll leave the link down below um, it's called African American get his ass kicked by um, truck drivers yeah. I don't know man. So you guys gonna be it's gonna be a little link below so you guys can check it out and tell me what you think, leave a comment. You know, this is what I talk about training. Really training. Train, train, train. 
train different aspects train Jiu Jitsu, train Muay Thai, train Karate no matter the train and when you train you train for a real life situation you train for a real life situation if you don't have an opponent if you don't have somebody to practice with there's a whole lot of things you can practice on get the punching bag get the bob they have something called a couch bag you can you can get that way what you can throw and you know throw knees to you know get some sparring in you know but train techniques that work and humble yourself you know keep yourself humble and and don't jump into things you know just just off the bat because because you want to be a bad man you know look, look around and then think first and see if this is a good decision to make you know all right you guys can keep on uh, keep on kicking keep on practicing martial arts no matter what it is train 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 martial arts train everything all right even samurai sword fighting nunchucks darts train everything check out wengichi.com subscribe to this channel comment rate oh,